About eight o'clock this morning, we uh, received a call from two men who had found a body laying in Swamp Poodle uh, Creek under the viaduct at, at West Third and at West Third and Elm Street. Um, officers came here, located the body. Um, in, in course of the investigation, the crime scene um, technicians located identification on the body, which leads us to believe that this is uh, the remains of Anthony Carmelli, who disappeared um, on September the 11th from a soccer game. Uh, with his children um, up, up about 15th and Pine Street. Well, um, any indication as to how long the, the remains may have been in place? I um, really can't say. Um, we're hopeful that the um, autopsy uh, will shed some light both in terms of, of um, how long Mr. Carmelli had been here as well as uh, of what had happened to him. Okay. And uh, the remains, uh, when do you expect to have positive identification from the crime lab? Um, well, you know, if, it's, if they were having to rely on DNA or something to that effect, um, you know, it could be, you know, six weeks. Uh, you know, but based upon uh, the, the uh, description uh, of the body as well as uh, the identification that was found on it, they were, at this point we're pretty sure that it was Mr. Carmelo. And I uh, assume so the investigation continues, so anyone with information? Oh, absolutely. We, we treat any, anything like this as a homicide until circumstances prove to be something other than that. So we're, we're going all out, you know, in terms of uh, our investigation, um, you know, the crime scene, uh, as well as the detectives and, and everything that's involved with that. So we, we're going to be doing, continuing our investigation. It's now switched from a missing person to, to a deceased person, uh, you know, but we're, we're continuing our investigation.